everyone, this is Shirley from Shirley's World. And I'm about to let the chickens out. Hi, Mama Dula. Thanks for joining me. I'm going to put my phone in my little pocket here for just a minute while I let them out because I can't do this with holding the phone. So I won't be able to see comments for a few minutes. Just hang on there. <clears throat> Come on. Tell me. Molly wants to dust instead of go out. Well, come on, girls. Come on. Follow me. <clears throat> I'm going to dump some uh, mealworms here. I love them. Then I'll have to go back and get Molly. Of course, she's going to be the problem girl today. I'll have to get my little my little uh, herder stick. Hold on a minute. Hi. DaCosta, hi. I'm coming back here to... Oh, don't you yell at me. Molly's a little bit broody. That's what she's doing. She's trying to... Uh, I have this bamboo pole with a bat plastic bag. And it sort of helps me herd, herd them. <laughs> See her running. It's very useful. It's sort of like uh, the same thing you can do with a horse with a plastic bag. <clears throat> Works with chickens too. Yeah, <laughs> I have horses, so that came naturally for me put the fence up here. I'm going to use two sticks. Yeah, that would work. I can see that. I'm going to put you in the pocket just a minute until I get this fence hooked up. <clears throat> of course, it's stuck on the netting. Is it every time you want to do something, things get stuck? Okay, I want to sit in here with the chicken, so do this all different. Sorry for the mus messing around here. I have to find an easier way to uh, put my fence up. I've had a problem doing this every single time. I think I would have fixed it by now. Okay. All right. I'm going to take you out so I can see. Oh dear. All right. It knocked the lens. You want one of those fences? It's, no, mine isn't electrified. Mine, I, I got it from, the, it's a poultry fencing, and it works really well. <clears throat> it keeps the chickens in. Uh, if you have it electrified, which this one can be, you can use it with a solar uh, battery. The solar battery is expensive. It's like 300 and some dollars, so. I was just interested in keeping the chickens in. Uh, when you electrify it, it's more for keeping the predators out. And since I'm out here with them and they're real close, uh, I didn't need it to be electrified. But evidently they do work really well. <clears throat> I have my chair over here, I'm going to pull it closer. <clears throat> I have some more uh, fun facts about chickens here. Yeah, I thought about getting the electric one, but I thought I'd end up zapping myself probably more than any pred <laughs> predators. So, but I this uh, fence you can you can 
make it to go anywhere. I mean, I can make it any size, any shape. Uh, I forget which size I got. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> so, uh, works. it works for what I need it to work for. You know, I, I noticed today, all my grass, it did rain a little bit today. It sprinkled, but not enough to really do much. My grass is all brown and in the front, too. But you know, the weeds in the driveway, on, in the stones, are as green as can be. How does that happen? <clears throat> yep, two buffs, a wire dot, and the brown one right there is an Easter egger. And they can come in all different colors, so. Yep, that's what I have right now. In the spring, when I order chickens, I'm thinking maybe I'll get a Plymouth Rock, a barred Plymouth Rock, a couple of those, and maybe a couple of Cochins. Have you ever had Cochins? You have some Easter eggers? Yeah. I love their eggs. I want to get another one of them, too. I can probably get four to six more chickens. Here comes a little Pepsi. Be with her flock. <laughs> she thinks she's a chicken. Hi, Pepsi. <clears throat> Sometimes she hides in that big hosta plant there and jumps out at him. She thinks she, she's playing, I guess. <clears throat> you got a was wait. My thumb was covering that. You got a donkey? No. They have five toes. What did you get? I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't see that. Repeat, repeat. Oh, a dorking. Yeah, they have five toes. Do they come in all different colors? And are they good layers? <clears throat> I get, yes, weird. They are, are they, yeah, I'll have to look them up. I don't know what they look like. <laughs> She's three months, just a baby yet. Of course, they're going to go over there. Now I have to switch my chair around. <clears throat> they're like kids, you know. Okay. Yes, let's see. More chicken facts. Ah. Number one, a rooster's waddle, that's that red thing underneath their, on their cheeks, underneath their beak, sort of. Those two little uh, hangy things. Those red, they're mostly red. The rooster's waddle is used to bring attention to himself when he dances in front of the hens. And someplace I read what that dance is called, and now, of course, I can't think of it. It starts with the K. Kittering or something like that. Yeah, mine's a silver laced. There she is. That's Dottie. And here's my Easter egg right there. And this is Molly. She's just on the verge of trying to go broody. And that's Martha. You know, I noticed a lot of feathers from uh, my Wyandot, so she's starting to molt. She's the first one that's starting to molt. So, anyway, let's see here. Oh, I can. 
Plus, chickens love to play. Well, we know that. Uh, each chicken sound means something specific. They have a regular, they have like 30 vocalizations between themselves if they talk. A hen can lay up to 300 eggs a year. Depending on the breed, they, weigh, they lay between 200 and 300 usually. <clears throat> a mother hen turns her eggs about 50 times a day when she's sitting on them. She reaches under and turns them. You ever seen that? I would love to get, uh, if one of my hens would go broody at the right time, I would get some uh, fertilized eggs, of course. Yeah, you've seen that recently? Yeah. I'm afraid I'd get roosters, though. If I just get fertilized eggs, that's why I probably ordered the chicks. And they're already sexed. Yeah. <clears throat> Let's see. A uh, here's something. The waste, the waste made by a chicken in its lifetime, can make enough electricity to run a hundred watt bulb for five hours. Wow, that's it's powerful. See that? Uh, that's Martha. She does not like Ego for some reason. She's she's mean to her. Poor Ego is low in the pecking order. <clears throat> yeah. Um, and the, my other Easter Egger, the one that was killed, was also low in the pecking order. Are your Easter Eggers low down on the order? Yeah, the pecking order. That's right, it's very, very important to chickens, evidently. <laughs> they were, yeah, huh, they must be a very submissive breed. Martha established quite early that she was the head of the herd, just like her namesake, Martha Stewart. <laughs> The oldest chicken uh, that ever lived was called Muffy, and she lived till she was 22 years old. Wow. <clears throat> A chick starts developing in the egg at 88 degrees Fahrenheit. So the mother has to sit on the eggs and keep them <clears throat> at least at uh, 88 degrees. The average lifespan, I think, is between four and eight years. Or six and eight, I read. It's Pepsi. Look at... She's going to pounce. <laughs> she just likes to play. They peck their feathers off of their chest. I know. When mine, when mine go broody, I have to get them out of that broody stage before they look a mess. <clears throat> Pepsi's going to... Oh, she's looking to climb up. The, no? <laughs> My chickens all need their butt, butts washed actually. Uh, when they had some mites, they also had uh, a little diarrhea, and it still is on their feathers in the back of them. <clears throat> when it warms up, of course, today it's August 26th, and it was only barely 60 degrees. That's cold for here. 
I know. Well, I've done it a couple times. I just take a pan of real warm water and sit them in and get it, uh, put gloves on and get it, get them clean. And then if it's real, real warm out, you can just let them go because I don't want to have to take them in and blow them dry with a hair dryer. It shows that online. I suppose you have to do that if it's winter, but there's no reason I should have to do that. They're, they're all going on the other side of the tree now. Let's see if I have more. I have more things on my list here I want to say. You've done it. You've done it with a uh, hair dryer. Yeah. I've never had to use the hair dryer yet, but I would take them in. Bug on my glasses. I take them in my bathroom. What's that? I take them in my bathroom and put the pan in the tub, maybe. Wash them off in the tub and then and then uh, use the hair dryer on them. That way, if they get away, they'll only be in the bathroom. I have a fighting chance to get them. <clears throat> now, here's a really interesting fact. I bet you didn't know this. Chickens have more bones in their necks than giraffes do. Hey, did you know that? I never knew that. Use my husband's bed. <laughs> right. Well, this one used to be my husband's bathroom. <laughs> Mine's upstairs. I I don't use this bathroom downstairs. Yes. Isn't that amazing? I just use my downstairs first floor bathroom to wash my dogs in the tub, and I'd use it for the chickens. And that's where I put my brooder for baby chicks when they come, too. But my bathroom is upstairs. <clears throat> Oh, let's see. Silkies have five toes. Did you know that? Silkies. Just got two turkins. I was just looking at them uh, when I was looking about breeds. I did a thing about breeds the other day. It's on, it's on my catch. Uh, no feathers on the neck. Don't they look like they're molting all the time? <clears throat> I'd love to get a little silky, but I'm wondering about fitting them in, because they're bantam, so wondering about fitting them into the flock, especially with Martha being, uh, she can be nasty sometimes. Love the feathers, yeah. Uh, I've only seen them at, uh, the, sh the fair, you know, when they have the the uh, chickens at the fair. They say it doesn't matter. I know if you raise, like if you'd get, if you'd get a little, like six chickens and, and different kinds, and one would be, or one or two would be silkies, you could raise them as tiny chicks and they'd be fine together. But I don't know about introducing them. Well, you have to introduce them slow anyway, I suppose, so you just have to wait and see. Maybe I'll get one of those. They are the sweetest little things. <coughs> That's what's happening here. You're introducing your flocks together. Yeah. Are you having any problem? I suppose they raise a ruckus. You could, I could probably hear them from in the house if they would uh, be arguing. Nine new, three months. How many in your old, your uh, oldest flock? Good, good, no problems. Let's see. Oh, here it is. The dance that a rooster, 16. Oh, you have a big flock. 16. 
and you're going to introduce nine. That's a nice sized flock. Do you sell your eggs? I don't have enough chickens to sell my eggs, but um, so I give them away to the lady across the street loves me. <laughs> and the people at the barn, I take them to the barn and uh, give them away to neighbors, yes. Yep, me too. <clears throat> if I had that many though, if I had as many as you, I might put a little sign out front I don't know. Three month plans I deliver every Wednesday. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I bet your neighbors love you too. Nothing like fresh eggs. I gave uh, a dozen couple times to my man that mows my grass. And when he came back the next time, he, he just couldn't believe the difference in the taste of the uh, real fresh eggs compared to the grocery store eggs. Yeah. Once my little home business helps pay for the food. Yep. Yep. That's what I would do if I had that many chickens. Let's see. Oh, here. The dance that roosters Fresh eggs are awesome, yeah. The dance that roosters perform is called tidbitting. T-I-D-B-I-T-T-I-N-G. Tidbitting. That little dance they do in front of their hens. That's what it's called. <clears throat> a record flight time for a chicken is 13 seconds. That's pretty long. And you count out 13 for the chicken it might it must have been a really light one for a chicken to be in the air yeah it looks like I've seen it I've seen them do it online but of course I don't have a rooster but yeah, right <laughs> the football players look like roosters <clears throat> I know a couple of mine have uh, flown over this uh, poultry fence. They can. They can if they really want to. They can uh, fly that high for a short distance. Unfortunately, that's uh, how my one got killed because I didn't know she had gotten out and I let the dogs out of the house and my one <clears throat> English pointer is very birdy. So would make a great hunter and the other one could care less about the chickens. And Dexter is the hunter. And he got her. A chicken's heart beats more than 300 times a minute. Don't you love these little tidbits of information? That's happening here too. What, that you're flying over the fence or what? Yeah. Yeah, I think. I got the highest of these, uh, the 48 inch. Oh, the dog. Mm. Yes, that was a sad day. Yeah, your dog got one too. I remember you told me that. Yeah, I couldn't even really yell at the dog much because he is a bird dog. It is my fault. <clears throat> Let's see. A chicken is 75% water. Well, we're, we're a high percentage of water, too. I forget what we are. Mm. You probably know a lot of these, so I'm skipping a lot of them because you have uh, chickens. Uh, my, yeah, mine love watermelon, rhinestones, runs, runes. Mine love watermelon. Here I thought it was because the watermelon was sweet, and then I found out from these facts that, uh, 
Oh, not runes. What? I'm looking. <laughs> I'm going to turn this back to the chickens. Uh, mine love watermelon. I thought it was because the watermelon was sweet, besides the fact that it has lots of water in it. But they can't taste sweetness. They can only taste salt, and they don't like salt. So they can't really taste sweet, so that's not why they're eating the watermelon. I've lost my comments. Tap. Give me a couple taps so I know you're there. Hope I didn't do something here when I turn my phone around. <clears throat> Okay, thank you. Uh, my iPhone, with without its case on, is so slippery. I have to really be careful when I'm holding it. My new mic, uh, microphone, the Rode mic, lapel mic, is supposed to come tomorrow, so we'll see. That's what Amazon says, anyway. Tomorrow's date. Tomorrow or the next day, I forget. It's either the 27th or 28th. <clears throat> I hear the squirrels up in the tree squeaking. if there's more because it rained there might be more bugs and things in the grass tonight they seem a lot more interested tonight than when it was real real dry there's uh, Martha's on the other side of the tree there. This is Molly. Hello, Molly. And Ego. Did your, uh, after you had a uh, chicken killed by your dog, did your chicken stop laying for a while? You know, Ego. My Easter Egger has never started to lay again since her sister was killed. Isn't that strange? I mean, the rest of them stopped laying for about a month, but she's never restarted again. She needs a restart button. But to not, never lay an egg again? Doesn't that seem kind of strange? <clears throat> hey, what are you saying, Dottie? What are you talking? My Wyandotte talks all the time. She's always talking. Yeah, well, mine are, mine are two and a half, two and a half years old now. Yeah, she, she's a happy old chicken. Little Ego. Aren't you ever going to lay me a green egg again? Hmm? So that's my little flock. Next year it'll be bigger. Because... These ladies have uh, slowed down with their laying, even the ones that started again. <clears throat> they don't give me an egg a day, maybe every other day. <laughs> Thank you. I know, it's fun. I wish I would have had chickens a long time ago. Hi, Martha. Hi, Martha.
Yes, you're a good girl. <laughs> I know, people that uh, have never had chickens, they just, I'm sure they don't believe that they can uh, have their own personalities. Her, her comb kind of flops over a little bit, whereas the other ones, the other one stands a little straighter up in the air. Martha, Martha, uh, the first winter, she got a little bit of frostbite on her comb. Even though I try to keep them, vasil I put Vaseline on them, but uh, she still had one little place uh, that got black, the very tip. <clears throat> So I guess I will, uh, here she went in the coop. Oh, olive oil. I do have spray olive oil. That would be easier. They don't like you to touch, touch their combs. At least mine don't. They must be sort of tender. I don't know. I never read about them being yeah, much easier. How do you keep the spray from going in their eyes and things? Now this cat, this is the mother cat. The mother of Pepsi. Those are the two barn cats that I rescued. <laughs> She's not going to mess with the chickens. She's a smart cat. Yeah, you're a smart kitty. Oh, you just put your hand over and spray? Okay, I'll try that uh, this winter. That does seem a lot easier than catching the chicken and trying to put... Uh, Vaseline. In the winter, if I go in and sit, I sit on a milk crate in their coop, and they'll come over and want to get on my lap, so it's not too hard. Yeah, that's a good idea. Thank you. Well, I think I'm going to go in the house, put these girls away into their dirt run so they can dust themselves because even though it sprinkled today it never even got that wet over there so that's how much rain we got hardly any so I'm going to close thanks everybody for coming I appreciate it and my sister comes tomorrow and we'll have some fun scoping and you too, DeCosta. Have a very nice night. I'll see you next time. Thanks for the hearts. Love getting hearts. Bye.